Prescott, Arizona is a town full of history. It's a town of cowboys and copper mines and constant growth. But the heart of Prescott, well that lies in its school district, one of the very first public school districts in the state of Arizona. The history of Prescott schools is best told by the monumental buildings and the people that were instrumental in its growth. It all began in 1868 with the formation of the Prescott School District by the Yavapai County Board of Supervisors. Four years later, the first public school classes were held in a one-room log cabin near Granite Creek. With increased student enrollment, the Prescott Free Academy, a four-room brick building located on the corner of a Larkin and East Gurley, was opened. It was a grand structure made of deep red brick and topped by a bell donated by the first principal, Moses Sherman. Moses and his sister Lucy diligently taught the children of Prescott at the Free Academy, which was the first school in Arizona to have multiple rooms with students divided by grades. After teaching at the Free Academy, Moses went on to become the superintendent of education for Arizona in 1885, before moving to Los Angeles in the early 1900s, where he developed the Los Angeles neighborhood known as Sherman Oaks. The success of the Prescott Free Academy was so prolific that it caught the eye of the Arizona governor, John Fremont, and his wife, Jessie. After visiting the Free Academy in 1878, Jessie Fremont took such an interest in the school that she spent a year teaching informal history and geography lessons to its students. As the town of Prescott continued to grow, so did the demand for education. The Prescott Board of Trustees commissioned the construction of a new three-story brick building. In 1903, the Prescott Free Academy was replaced by a new, larger building named Washington School. It was a state-of-the-art school constructed with several classrooms, an auditorium, and administrative offices serving students from kindergarten to eighth grade. The next year, Prescott's old City Hall building was remodeled to be used as Prescott High School, which graduated four students in its first year. By 1909, there was a sharp increase in Washington School students, which prompted the construction of another school in West Prescott, Lincoln Elementary. These new elementary schools were very successful, but they presented a new problem. The high school was too small to accommodate the influx of students. So in 1914, Prescott High School moved from the old City Hall building to a new high school built on the corner of a Larkin and Gurley, diagonally across from Washington School. In 1923, another increase in students prompted the construction of Jefferson Elementary School, located on Marina Street, which served students from kindergarten to fourth grade. The demand for new secondary schools only increased as new elementary schools were built. In 1930, the original high school was expanded to house Prescott Junior High School. Then in the late 1930s, as part of President Franklin Roosevelt's WPA projects, a new senior high school was built, where Prescott Mile High Middle School is today. It was also in 1930 that Miller Valley School, constructed in 1916 as part of the Miller Valley School District, petitioned to become a part of Prescott Public Schools and was welcomed into the fold. During the 1930s, attendance at the Prescott Elementary Schools began to level and then started to decline. The decrease was so dramatic that in 1938, Jefferson Elementary School closed its doors after 15 years of operation. When the Second World War erupted, the desperate need for a community hospital became clear. In January of 1941, the Prescott School Board decided that they would rent the old Jefferson Elementary School building to the Community Hospital Association for no more than $1 per year so that the needs of the community could be met. The community came to the school board for help and they provided it. One of the truly great educators that served the Prescott School District during this time was Mr. Albert Hendricks. From 1928 to 1943, Albert Hendricks served the school district as a principal of Prescott High School. He left his post only to become the acting superintendent of the district when the previous superintendent left to join the war effort. The school board was determined to immortalize and honor Mr. Hendricks that they named the newly built Prescott High School Auditorium after him in 1943. After the war, the demand for elementary schools increased once more 
prompting the school board to construct a new elementary school. This school, unlike its presidential predecessors, was named after a PUSD institution, Ms. Mata Dexter. Mata Dexter began serving the district in the early 1900s as the first grade teacher at Washington School. She taught for a number of years before becoming the principal of that same school. She was described by her pupils as tough, a real taskmaster, but also known as kind and fair. There was no doubt that she cared deeply for her school and for the students she presided over. Shortly after Dexter Elementary School was constructed, another elementary school was commissioned, also named after a great figure in the Prescott Schools community, Dr. Taylor Hicks Sr. The Hicks family is a prolific part of Prescott's community. Taylor, in particular, was an important part of the district for many years. After graduating college and attending dental school, he went on to serve on the Prescott School Board from 1941 to 1961. His greatest honor of all was in 1962, when the school board named the newest elementary school after him, calling it Taylor Hicks Elementary School. In 1966, Prescott High School moved once again to its current Ruth Street location. The building left behind on Granite Street became Prescott Junior High School. The next school to be constructed was a junior high school to help with the ever-growing number of students. In 1975, the school board decided that it would be named Granite Mountain Junior High School, for they believed that the strength evoked by the image of Granite Mountain would inspire their students. Abiah Judd's long legacy in the Prescott School District began in 1936 when he moved to Prescott to teach sixth grade at Lincoln Elementary. He taught there until 1941 when he left to Prescott to obtain a master's degree in administrative education and served in the U.S. Army and Air Force during World War II. He returned to Prescott in 1946 when he accepted a position as principal of Washington School. Five years later, he was appointed superintendent of Prescott Unified School District and served in that position until he retired in 1973. In 1988, the Prescott Unified School Board made the decision to construct a new elementary school. They unanimously voted that it be named after him. The school was opened in August of that year, and Abiah Judd himself cut the ribbon at its dedication. A few years after that, Prescott Junior High School changed its name to Prescott Mile High Middle School, solidifying its place within the Prescott community. In keeping with this new era of change, two of Prescott's elementary schools were closed. Dexter Elementary closed its doors in the late 1990s, and Miller Valley School was sold in 2018 to further meet the needs of the community thus ending two story chapters in PUSD's rich history. In 2015, Washington School, first built in 1903, was closed. After much consideration, in 2018, the old Washington School building was transformed into the current Prescott Unified School District office. Now, administrators continue PUSD's legacy of care and commitment to the community in the very halls that helped establish the Arizona school system. Even today, Prescott schools are the heart of this community. From supporting local fundraisers and events, to providing emergency readiness locations in the most critical times of need, to Badger Friday Night Lights. For over 150 years, the Prescott Unified School District's commitment to its community shines through in every child, every day.